Dear parents, carers and students, in this presentation I will take you through information about stage 5 course requirements, record of school achievement, minimum standards test, stage 5 pattern of study, electives offered at Goldman High School in 2022, tips on how to choose electives, overview on how to submit electives, and then Mrs. Kennedy will explain about Goldman High careers program. The Stage 5 course requirements uh, require students uh, to follow the course developed or endorsed by NESA, apply themselves with diligence and sustained efforts to set tasks and experiences, and to um, achieve some or all of the course requirements. ROSA is uh, awarded to students who leave school after completing year 10 and before completing year 12, or students who complete year 12 but were unable to meet the minimum standards in testing opportunities in year 10, 11 or 12. ROSA is a cumulative credential. It records academic achievement up until the date a student leaves school and it is based on moderated school-based assessments. Minimum standard tests. Uh, from year 10, students are given four opportunities per year to sit the online minimum standards test in reading, writing, and numeracy. Students are deemed to have achieved the minimum standard if they achieve level three or above of the Australian skills framework on each online test. Now I'm going to talk about the Stage 5 curriculum. The Stage 5 curriculum consists of mandatory courses, elective courses, and work education in Year 10. The Stage 5 pattern of study involves the core curriculum of English, Mathematics, Science, PDHPE, History, and Geography. There are three electives. Two electives are 200-hour electives, so elective one and two, and the third elective, which we call interest elective, is 100 hours, and it's only available in um, year nine. And then in year 10, students study um, work education. The electives we offer at Goldman High is included in the prospectus, so you need to choose two of the 200-hour courses these courses will run for two years, that is in year 9 and year 10. And then one 100-hour course, and like I explained earlier, it will only run in year 9. You will have to choose reserve electives just in case you don't get your preferred elective choice. From next year, department has approved certain electives for Stage 5 at Goldman High, we're going to run these four electives, International Studies, Outdoor Education, Big History and Philosophy. So these electives are, um, uh, they're going to run for two years, year nine and year 10. However, if you choose any of the above elective courses, please understand that the course will not be listed on the ROSA. However, you'll still meet NASA's requirement for successful completion of this stage five course. In choosing your electives, please make sure you make wise subject choices and that's based on your ability. You choose subjects that you're good at, you choose subjects in which you are interested. Remember to select subjects carefully as most courses extend over two years. Please remember these dates. You must complete the online subject selection form by Monday 2nd August. You need to submit the paper copy of your form to Ms. Clemens on Tuesday 3rd of August. And if you fail to complete the form on time, that would mean that you may miss out on your course selections. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Kennedy, Careers Advisor at Goulburn High School. And as I believe it's never too soon to start exploring careers, I wanted to provide you with some great resources to help. While the electives completed in years 9 and 10 won't make or break a person's future career choices, it is certainly a fabulous opportunity for students to see what they like or don't like 
and explore their skills and strengths. The Goulburn High School website is the first resource I'd like to mention and all students access this website through their HAP classes with Mr Manny in 2019. They have all set up their own accounts in the student secure area and completed a variety of career quizzes and a career plan. Students can access this at any time and if they need assistance with the login they just need to see me. There is also a fabulous parent information section with really good information on supporting children as they prepare for the future. As you work through the website, you'll access information on a variety of careers. Each of the job descriptions is consistent. Make sure you remember to open each of the sections on the page so that you get all of the information, including what you will do in the job, the qualities and skills you need to do the job, how and where you can train for that career path, and most importantly, a fabulous profile of income, current and future employment profiles, and so on. The bullseye posters are another fabulous way to access information for younger students. By looking at the subjects that a student really likes, you can see the career paths that can move on from that. The careers in the centre of the bullseye require the least amount of formal education and training. Those on the outside require university education. And it's important to acknowledge that there are many pathways available to move from career paths in one level to another. Careers in the vocational education and training sector have gained much greater profile and for parents who are looking to explore the options available in this sector, the Skills and Thrills Showcase will be available to access vital information to support you in this process. Don't forget you can always visit the Careers Office or make an appointment with me if you have specific career-based questions. Students will start to have access to careers education formally in Year 10 when they study work education. Thank you.